series Friday evening at Clark Eau Stadium. Pirates coming in with an amazing 21 and 2 record at home this season. Bottom of the first, we will start Cam Clanch. A three run clanch launch bomb over the right field wall. All hail the magic clanch. ECU takes the lead three to nothing. Solid day on the mound for Treya Savage. Ten strikeouts in five innings pitched. Gave up two hits and three runs, and he had help from his defense. Check out Carter Cunningham. Take away a home run from Cincy in the fourth inning in right. What a grab! from Carter Cunningham. Then later in the inning, Bearcats launch a ball deep to center, but five foot eight Lane Hoover looks six eight for a second. Another great grab to steal another home run. Bearcats pulled within two runs, but Alec Makarevich would add on a run for ECU and Josh Moylan had a late three run homer to seal the win. Pirates win game one, nine to four. It's huge, I mean, keep that momentum going in the next two days. Once you win game one, it's, it's not easier to win game two, but you have more of a confidence boost going into game two and game three. Now, I didn't know Hoover robbed it until he threw the ball in. I was kind of questioning it, but they were both big plays and keep, kept two runs off the board. It was massive. Game two tomorrow at 4 p.m. between the two schools. NC State baseball has lost four of their last five games, looking to get back on track Friday night against Florida State in Raleigh. Watch Gino Groover go out into foul ball territory, leaping over the tarp with a great catch in the ninth inning. Wolfpack blast FSU 14 to three. The number two ranked team in the nation, the 29 and four Wake Forest Demon Deacons played at Louisville Friday evening. Justin Johnson, a grand slam for the Deeks in the third inning. He finished the game with two home runs. Wake blasted Louisville 11 to five to get to 30 and four on the season. The Duke baseball team started a tough road series with 11th ranked Boston College Friday evening. Four different Blue Devils finished with home runs, including MJ Metz. Metz later had a fantastic catch in foul ball territory in the bottom of the eighth to seal the upset win for Duke, six to four. Great catch, Metz hangs on. College softball, the ECU softball team hosted the Memphis Tigers Friday in Greenville. Pirates have lost seven of the last eight games trying to get back on track. Two of the original members of the first ECU softball team in the 70s threw out the first pitch. Memphis jumped out early, one to nothing in the top of the first. But D.H. Conley alum Anna Sawyer and the Pirates would rebound afterwards to a four to two victory. Game two is Saturday at 2 p.m. In the NBA, the Miami Heat hosted the Chicago Bulls in a do or die play in game. Winner plays the Bucks in the first round. Loser goes home. 14 points off the bench for Goldsboro and UNC alum Kobe White for the Bulls. North side of Beaufort County's Bam at a bio. Only eight points tonight, but he grabbed 17 rebounds and had a key block late to clinch the win for Miami 102 to 91. So it's going to be Bucks and Heat in the first round on Sunday. Brett Kennedy, News Channel 12. Well, as you take a look 